Okay, class, I'm back to talk about the opportunity loss scenario that's presented in your text. And so the opportunity loss uh, strategy is also called the mini max regret. And what this, what we're going to do in this particular case is we're going to select, we're going to look at the losses because a lot of times when you're making decisions, you have to consider the loss, um, the opportunity cost. So what I've done is I've taken our table, right? So this is our mortgage instrument table. And what I've done is I've, in red, I've circled the, um, the opportunity that provides um, the least amount of interest in each scenario. So in the if the rates rise, then the fixed year, the 30 year fix would be the that scenario with the um, 54,658. If the rates are stable, then the one year arm would be the best scenario with the interest rate of with the interest amount of uh, 46,443. And if the rates fall, the one year arm is still the best scenario. So if you look down at the bottom in the green, what I've done is I have created this table. I've recreated the table where it takes into account the loss. So the for the one year arm, the loss would be given that we use um, the 54,658 as our basis, you would subtract the uh, 54,658 um, that's an eight, sorry, from 61,134, and it would give you the 6,476. Similarly, you would have subtracted the uh, 54,658 from this um, 56,901, and that would have given you 2,243. And then if I were to subtract the 54,658 from itself. That's why I have this dash here because this is the smallest amount. So that, that's kind of like a not applicable. Same thing with here and here. Since the, for the, if the rates are stable, the 46,430, 443 is the amount that I would choose. I would then subtract that amount from the other two amounts from the three year arm and from the 30 year fix. And similarly, I would do the same things if the rates fall. The rates fall, I would select the 4,000, I'm sorry, 40,161. And then conversely, I would subtract that from the other two amounts. And then this gives me this table. So given this information, if I want to talk about just maximizing my loss, then I would say my max um, opportunity loss. I'm just going to abbreviate because I'm running out of space, right? So for this particular column, there's only one number in this column, and that would be the is it, I just marked on it, the 6,476, right? I said that columns are row. For this row, um, the uh, maximum opportunity loss, right, would be my 6,400, I'm sorry, 560. And then finally, for this row, uh, it would be my 14,000. 497. And so what I'm going to do in this scenario is I'm going to, if this is my maximum loss, I'm going to assume I'm going to select the minimum of the maximum loss, right? So here we are with the minimum of the maximum loss. Thus the mini max. Again, um, I'm trying to explain the reading the book. It does it is not as effective as it is when you do the actual problems. So I have a couple more scenarios I'd like to run through with you all. If you have questions, as always, please email me.